and welcome to lesson four, Other Attributes of Quadrilaterals. Okay, so we've looked at quadrilaterals, we've looked at the types of quadrilaterals that we are, and we should be able to identify them now. Um, we've, look, we've looked at things such as uh, squares, rectangles, kites, trapezoids, parallelograms, and then unidentifiable, just quadrilaterals. Okay, now we're going to look at um, the symmetry of these shapes. Okay, um, so remember that a symmetrical shape is a shape that can be folded so that one part matches the other part exactly. So my paper is symmetrical, okay, because I can fold it like this and I'll have uh, two exact sides that mirror each other. Um, and I could also go this way and be symmetrical that way. Okay, so not only are we going to be looking at whether or not a shape is symmetrical, but we'll look at how, in how many different ways is that shape symmetrical. Okay, you're getting a little more advanced, and so you're going to have to find all of the ways. Don't just find one of the ways. So these are some examples of shapes that do not have symmetry. Oh, and before I go further, I almost forgot to introduce to you a line of symmetry. You may have heard of it before, um, but the line of symmetry is basically the fold that you would make in the shape to make it symmetrical. So this, I'm not gonna make the fold because it's going to be someone's paper, but if I were to fold this, and then it would, if this shape was symmetrical this and this way, then the fold that I make would be the line of symmetry, okay? So anyways, as I was saying, these shapes, no matter what way you fold them, they're not going to be symmetrical. So some quadrilater quadrilaterals have no lines of symmetry. Some quadrilaterals have one line of symmetry. So this kite here has one line of symmetry. You couldn't fold it any other way and make it, the, make it uh, symmetrical, but you could fold it this way. This um, kite has the line of symmetry this way. You can see very easily that if you folded it, it would be symmetrical. And then we've got this trapezoid here that if you folded it um, across the middle here, it would be symmetrical. You could not do it any other way though. Okay, so there's one line of symmetry. Next up, we've got two lines of symmetry. So some shapes have two lines of symmetry, such as this paper, it has two lines of symmetry. So a rectangle has lines of symmetry and a parallelogram has lines of symmetry right here. Um, actually this, um, I don't know. I don't know if those th that shape is the same as that shape, whatever. Either way, uh, there's a line of symmetry here and a line of symmetry here. And then this one, you could fold it this way and then those would be uh, symmetrical and you could fold it this way and then that way would be a symmetrical. Now a square is a special shape. It has four lines of symmetry, okay? Because you can fold it the, this way, a square, this is a rectangle so I can't do all of them. Uh, you could fold it this way and then with the square you could also do the diagonal. So you could do the one diagonal and the other diagonal. So it has four different lines of symmetry, okay? Um, and it's, a square is the only one, it's special. You'll notice that it's special in, the, in a number of ways. Um, but that's what you're going to look at. You're going to look at the other attributes that you also uh, learned in quadrilaterals, like um, opposite adjacent sides are equal, or um, what are those other ones that we learned? Uh, oh, opposite adjacent, that doesn't make sense. Opposite lines are equal or adjacent lines are equal. Um, four right angles, okay, you're gonna be looking at those as well. So review these if you have not, or if you don't remember them. And uh, yeah, so your assignment is on page 236 to 237, it's number two, three, five to seven and 11. And 11 is one that takes thought, so don't just give up on it, you can do it.